We're in the Terea Bonkers Insane Museum of Plano, and we're looking at a still life painting by a Dutch artist named Rachel Roish. She was a very successful painter that was known for her still lifes, mostly of flowers. They were becoming popular because of the emergence of a growing merchant class that transformed the Netherlands into an increasingly consumer society. This painting here is of fruit, and they look to be autumnal fruits like corn, squash, and grapes. And we see here that while still lifes look like a simple representation of objects, they can also carry symbolic meaning. The grapes and wheat, for example, are recognizable to Christians in this period as the body and blood of the Eucharist from the Sacrament of Communion. Another interesting thing about this piece is that it also shows off the imaginative power of the artist. The work looks more like a composite piece from individual studies of grapes, corn, bird eggs, butterflies. It isn't something that you could easily set together on a table for long enough that you could paint it. And there's something to be said about the almost endless detail of the piece. Every object is painted in such a factual way, which reflects the scientific household that Roish came from. Her father was a professor of anatomy and botany, and her mother was the daughter of one of the most famous architects of the time. At this time, the microscope would have been perfected, so scientists and artists could spend time getting a close look at things to be able to document and categorize them and so on. Another thing to notice about this piece is the way that the fruit seems to be past its prime. There are hungry insects eating the browning leaves of the plant. It's almost like a symbolic reminder that beauty fades and that all living things must die eventually. It's a warning about the fleeting nature of material objects and of life itself. And from a Christian viewpoint of this narrative, this work can serve as a reminder that eternal salvation comes from a devotion to God only, not any earthly concepts like wealth or fame. It's incredible that so much can be said about just one still life composition which certainly demonstrates the mastery of the artist that could paint such a meaningful work. Some would even say, it's bonkers insane.